pH imbalances are absolutely possible in the body, but if you're researching pH imbalances, odds are pretty high that you've probably come across some bad information. There's a lot of pH gurus out there that tell us that, oh man, you need to alkalize or you're going to be dead by Thursday. You need to be an alkaline diet. Your body's way too acidic and you're, you're probably halfway to dead already. But the reality is that there are different compartments of the body that should have different pHs. A body shouldn't be alkaline. And when we're talking about the pH of the body, we're really talking about the blood pH. And the blood pH has a very narrow range that it's supposed to stay within. And it moves a little bit too far on that alkaline side and a little bit too far on that acidic side in some situations. And creating some balance to that area can be beneficial for some people. But to say that everybody needs to alkalize is a really big mistake. For some people, their blood is already leaning too far on that alkaline side. And if they push it even further, they're likely going to create some oxygen utilization issues through the Bohr effect. So when the blood is leaning too alkaline, oxygen actually can't get down to the tissues where it needs to be to be utilized. That overly alkaline blood traps the oxygen there so that it can't be used the way that it's supposed to. So when we're looking at things like urine pH and saliva pH, these have no indication of what the pH of the blood is. The, the pH gurus like to tell us that it is, but it really does not line up. When we want to get an idea of what the pH of the blood is, we really want to look at the breath rate. Now, there can be value in looking at urine and saliva pH when you're trying to correct other things like imbalances at the cellular level that have to do with your circadian rhythm. But if you're going to try and just eat foods that are going to raise your urine pH or change your saliva pH, you may actually be magnifying an imbalance at the cellular level that your body is already dealing with, therefore magnifying issues that that imbalance can create. So if you want to understand this a little bit more and understand how to look at your chemistry in a way to get an idea of where your body chemistry is and the steps that are really going to be appropriate for you instead of just alkalizing like all the cool kids are doing, then you can click on the link on the screen or in the description of this short for our full video on the truth about pH balance.